Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at the XS spawn. First thing you're going to have to do though is you're going to have to come to my channel and watch a couple of videos again and remove these video, um, not the videos, but the files from your PBO um, that you put in there in the first place. If you didn't follow these videos and you haven't installed these two things, then you can proceed and just wait two more seconds until I finish explaining and then we'll get on with the video um, but yeah you need to watch these and take out all the pieces that you need um, or else the excess spawn will not work because it already has these pre-installed in them um, right so let's get on with the video so first things first um, you can either head to this X spawn um, and download the uh, github and you will download the actual files or I will put in the description um, for my Dropbox which will have my folder which has a little extra in it which I will show you in a minute and um, once you've downloaded this um, which I advise uh, you will have these two files in the, fo in, in the folder so next thing you're going to do is go to your server wherever that is installed. I'm using Altus as well. Um, doesn't matter what what map you're using, could be Tano or whatever. It's all the same. It doesn't matter. Uh, once you've unpacked it, go in your folder. You're going to copy and paste the XS bit of a tongue twister. You're going to copy paste straight in. Mine's already in here because I've already done it to make sure that everything worked just for you. Um, next thing you're going to do is open up the XS um, text and we'll just move that over there there we go right first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this to description um, I've already done that so you go into your description here and you copy and paste it straight in and um, we can close out of that because we don't need that one anymore the second thing we're going to do is we're going to head into the config.cpp and you're going to copy and paste this whole section here which I have done right here. Um, obviously, don't forget to save, um, guys, as well. Um, don't know why I've got two texts open. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste this whole um, section. Obviously, I know I've missed out a little bit, but I'm just working with the screen size. And you're going to head to Init Local Player. Um, you're going to head right down to the bottom. Let me just drag that back up. And you're going to paste it in the bottom, like how it is here. Um, this is for you to edit as well as you see fit. I uh, um, you can have a, a base spawn level. Um, I've set mine to a level four, so no nobody um, uh, um, under a level four flag can respawn at their base. Um, I've this is also this also comes with um, a 900 in here. Um, I've changed this to one just so then you have a, this. This is a base um, respawn limit. Um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's set to 900, but I'd probably suggest putting it at 1, just so then you've constantly got a base respawn there, or else you've got to wait 15 minutes for a, a spawn, which I think that's what it says it's... Uh, no, it doesn't actually say, but I think 900 is around approximately 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, they're your little things that you get to change. Um, obviously once you've copy and paste that into there we don't need that one anymore make sure you save though and then exit uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and this is the fourth thing you're going to head to your um, this this is totally up to you guys um, you don't have to um, but you know it, it, it does state you know make sure you have your um, s um, parachute spawning on and helo jumps um, so it's all set like this uh, to do that obviously you would go back and head into your uh, at server click in and it'd be in your server config which go in there it'll be near the bottom somewhere uh, it's been about 10 years looking for this now it's up here somewhere no it's around there somewhere there we go right so make sure everything looks like this so you've got number one number one and that's it make sure you save and yeah you can get out of that part so that's pretty much all done so obviously going back to the um, file itself because you haven't PBO'd it back up yet or you might have if so then I didn't tell you to do that um, right so 
inside your X spawn we are going to go to overwrites and here you have a Bambi uh, create Bambi so every time you spawn in uh, this is the difference between my one and the one that you download from the actual um, Exile server which is there which doesn't have this in um, it still has a create Bambi but it's just your normal um, orange jumpsuit my one comes with respect loadouts so for uh, what is it Tw 2500 you will get like a uniform and you know like a, a simple weapon or something um, obviously this goes all the way down um, different loadouts and stuff different kind of um, things that you spawn in with um, obviously there's, there's quite a few here uh, like obviously uh, the last one is yeah, it's this one and you know you, you you get some pretty funky cool stuff with this um, but yeah you know it's, it's all changeable you can check put whatever you want in here guys you you can change the respects if you want to um, obviously that you know same here as well this is between uh, this amount and this amount and yeah you can you can just tamper with that as much as you want um, and add things or take things away um, the next thing I want to show you was uh, I think it's this one is it this one yep right so in spawn location show um, these lines down here all this part here is changeable this is where you would uh, this this is obviously my server that I've written in there um, another one here with with my uh, discord channel sorry and you can check you can put whatever you want within these um, markers you know be it Joe Bloggs is um, sat on a fence <laughs> I don't know you know you can change this to whatever you want some you know sarky comments that you know people are gonna laugh at or whatever um, but yeah you can change that part as well Right, so next part I wanted to show you was the how to change the background. So right, I've put mine in here as well. I will add these with it. Uh, obviously, this is your big background, and this is your little logo that's here. These are the sizes that I'm using. So if you've got um, Photoshop or something, just drag and drop them in your Photoshop and work from there. I've made sure that they're a JPG, just so then it's easier to work with than a PAA file which you have to get armor tools and open it in uh, view, uh, view uh, I think it's view 2 or team viewer 2 or something Some, something like that I don't know but, um, yeah what you're gonna do here is go in dialogue I think it's this one yep here and you're gonna add um, once you have put your picture in here um, go into dialogue uh, go, go into uh, this dialogue one here and you are going to type the um, location of that so you know it being uh, XS and then spawn and then you're going to put whatever your thing is called so you're going to change this part here same with this one underneath as well why that is called L on the end I have no idea have I put L on there yes oh yeah it's logo isn't it uh, donut but um yeah Oh, so hold on. Why does that not say logo? Okay, so I've messed up there. So, um, but I'm pretty sure it does work still. Hmm. Bit weird. Oh no, I've left that as a as a PAA. Hmm. Okay, interesting. All right. So, but yeah. Um, obviously, if you know how to do a PAA file, um, or if not, head to your um, internet page, and it will tell you uh, how to. Um, change uh, PAA to uh, JPG, and it tells you here. Um, yeah, TeamView two. So it tells you here how to do it. Um, you'll just download Team TeamView two through Armor Tools, and which is on Steam. Um, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, obviously, don't forget to save. Um, go back as well and make sure you repack your PBO always keep your original PBO just in case something does go wrong in here or you forget to put something or something doesn't go in there right um, but yeah uh, that's pretty much it guys 
But right, hope you've liked the video guys. Obviously don't forget to uninstall the parts I told you at the beginning of the video just in case you did put them ones in from previous videos. I know other people have been following my video so you know just make sure you take them ones out first before you do do this and make sure your server works beforehand before you try uploading these um this file into your server. Um but yeah, apart from that guys, I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Oh, if you do get any problems, my Discord link is up the top on the right of my YouTube page, um, right next to the donations button. Right, cheers guys, thanks for watching, see you later.